힙합 What's up YouTube? This is Mar. This uh, episode I will be in Italy most of the time. And right now I'm at my last day of the trip, so um, I'm gonna rewind back to the first day when I was leaving at my house. So uh, yeah, see you at my house. Peace. Seven days earlier. Now first I'm gonna pick up my girlfriend and after that we're gonna hit the roads. We're gonna drive uh, the biggest part at night, so um, it's gonna be dark. So I don't know if I'm gonna film a lot at night, but um, we'll see. See you in a week. Goodbye, my friend. I'm gonna put this on zero so we can see how much I've been driving. And like that, it's time to leave. Let's go. So we did 1172.5 kilometers and we finally arrived here. Let's go for a swim now. Oh. but I have to do a quick uh, interruption. I know I didn't say much during this trip, but actually I don't really mind. And I hope you guys do too, because Jared Fields, I don't know if you know him, he's a beat maker from the UK, allowed me to use his beats in this vlog. So thank you, George, for letting me use all your beats in this episode, it's really sick. I like to edit the movie without saying anything, just with the music. I hope you like it too, so yeah. Now I'm gonna show you the rest of the footage I shot during the trip. See you guys back when I do the Q&A then. Let's go.
must have a broken leg or something. What's wrong with you? So this was the last day. We are leaving in about an hour, I think. It's a 14 hour drive again. It's gonna be a long ride. And just right now it started raining. We had good weather the entire trip, so we are pretty lucky. So yeah, see you back on the road. It says 11 hours and a half. We're gonna stop a few times and I think we're gonna have some traffic jams too. So it's gonna be 14 hours, I think. All right, let's do this. Super long traffic jam. Fuck this shit, man. Okay, I'm back home, tired as fuck. I dropped off my girlfriend at her place and now I'm at my house again. It's now um, 5.37. We kinda had a 16 hour drive to get here, so it's insane. It took me so long to get here. But I finally, I'm finally home right now, so this is the kilometers I have. 2,399.6, pretty crazy, but I had fun. Hey Martin, Martin, uh, it's Q&A time. Okay, it's time for the Q&A. My friend Jonathan is gonna read the questions for you. First question is from Sludge Pump High Power Beats and he's asking, are you a drums first man or a sample first man? Or uh, both, depending on the day. It indeed depends on the day, but most of the time I start with some basic drums, then I layer the sample on it, and after that I uh, change the drums again. Maybe sometimes I also use the sample first, but um, most of the time the drums. I'm a drums first man, to answer your question. And the second question is, I see you rock the 2000 XL sometimes, between 51 and 70%, what is your favorite swing settings? I'm gonna answer this question in my room because it's on the MPC. For snares, I like to put it on 50% swing because I like my snares to be on point, you know. For hi-hats, it depends from 52 to 60%. Too much swing, I don't really like too much swing. Also, what I, what I like to do for hi-hats is put the note value off so it's more like a, a real natural feeling, but you have to be really good with the timing. If you play the hi-hats offbeat, they're gonna be offbeat. Yeah, that's it. So the next question is from Violin Chick 08 and she's asking, does the Akai S950 have to be used to filter samples for a baseline or can the MPC 2000 XL filter samples? Actually, yeah, both of the samplers can do the same thing. The only <coughs> difference is uh, the MPC 2000 XL is a 16-bit sampler and the S950 or S900 is a 12-bit sampler. So uh, I like the bass from the 12-bit samplers more than these newer samplers. So um, yeah, they both filter your bass samples. Second question is, when do you do the drums? Do you chop up drum breaks from records or do you use the drum breaks as they are? Most of the time I chop them up, but uh, I also layer them like with a break. I haven't chopped up to get more of a drum feeling like a real drummer would do, like with these riffles of how you say it, riffs and like that. Um, it sounds better when you use them like they are and just layer them with drums you chop yourself. Uh, that's how I get down most of the time. Nice, nice. And the third question is, do you mix your beats when you record them? If so, how do you mix them? 
Yeah, if I want to use them for like when an MC is there's a stupid fucking bug over here. Uh, like when an MC wants to rhyme over a beat, then I record the beat in a Cubase. It's like a program where you can layer all your tracks and you can cut them or put some effects over it. Then she's asking a fourth question, and I'm filming this on another day, that's why I'm wearing different clothes. Her fourth question was if I'm gonna make a beat making tutorials one day. I might do that, but uh, only if other people are asking me to do it, so, so yeah, just let me know if you want to or not. The next person who is asking questions is Quillar or Quillar. What do people listen to more, where you're from, the trap shit or boom bap? Actually, neither of both people over here listen to the music of the radio most of the time. What do you listen to? I listen to reggae and dub. Dub, hip hop. Most of the time, hip hop. Yeah, but there's not a, a lot of people here who are into that boom bap shit. Yeah, if you compare it, I think more people listen to trap than they listen to boom bap. Most of the people who are into real hip hop, I know them personally because there are not a lot of people who are into hip hop. So it's easy to connect via Facebook or YouTube. My friends from 144, I used to talk with them on Facebook before I knew them. Then we hooked up and we, we became friends instantly. So yeah, that's how it goes here. Uh, Sorry to interrupt again, but I'm gonna enter the Q&A here because I think the vlog is getting a little bit long. So I'm gonna answer the other questions next time maybe uh, because there really were some good questions in there. So thank you to the people who asked me some questions. If I didn't answer it now, I will answer it next time, I promise. And now let's move on with the vlog. Tell you a quick thing about the performance you just saw. It was at a music festival where there's usually more uh, commercial music. We got the chance to perform there with our hip hop shit, so it was really cool seeing all those different people um, listening to our music. Some people really enjoyed it. You could see it because they were uh, putting up their hands all the time. It was really sick uh, experience in that. Also, big shout out to the homies Brecht and Neil 
for sending me their clips they shot during the performance so I could put them in my vlog. The next episode, I'm gonna be in the Netherlands. I'm gonna visit my homie DJ Fox, who's a, a genius at the turntables. So next episode, you can expect that from me. But now, I got to go. See you, man. Peace. See you later, man. Peace. Oh, my camera is stuck in the trees. What the fuck? That's better.